is a reason the Olon area continues to rise in popularity, both for expats and Ecuadorians alike. The long, wide, clean, walkable beaches, beach towns for everybody, regardless of your interests. Lush vegetation with nature everywhere. You just can't escape it. This one, Chris? Yeah, best one I've ever had. Here's Chris having some <laughs> lemon ants. <laughs> Here we have Gabby and we have Deb <laughs> and they are the property managers here. So if you're looking for rentals, contact these yeah. two ladies. So uh, let's go in and yes. uh, check out this uh, rental. Well, just to clarify one thing, sorry, really quick, is yeah. that we actually do property management and we, have pro we manage uh, several properties, but we also offer um, just rentals that we don't technically manage, but um, you know, they're properties that we rent out so I just wanted to clarify we do both we do both so just a question around yeah. that so if someone were to buy a house in yeah. Ecuador in this area and they're only going to be here four months a year yes. six months yes. a year yeah. they didn't want to go through the whole temporary visa thing yeah. you guys could we take care of it all Airbnb it or re or Correct. rent it out for a longer term yes. when they're not here or absolutely perfect yeah property management also includes just as it sounds managing the property and so paying their bills, um, if there's anything things. that needs to get fixed, we manage, um, we take care of getting it fixed. When we sell the property, there's this whole process after purchasing the property of like getting the meters changed into your names, um, getting, installing internet, buying furniture, buying AC units, all of those kind of, which you guys are familiar with, technical yeah. things. You guys came, so it was different because you're here and you're taking, taking care of it all. But a lot of times we have people who just buy and they're out. So they need us to kind of take over after we're purchasing the new property. So yes, we do that. Great. Okay, let's, let's have a check peek. it out. Come on in. Okay, so oh, we okay. are standing towards the back of the property. This is the back door to the pool area and to the beach. We'll let's check that out in a, in a few. Um, so it's got the living room, dining room. Most of our renters will actually take this table out and put it outside so that they're eating. Like you could just have this open and then they're oh. eating outside, enjoying nice. the view fresh air, but they're kind of still close to their apartment. That's a sofa bed, we added that recently so that people who have visitors, you know. So can. everything in this apartment uh, is included? Everything so is all included. All the furniture, there's dishes, Exactly, sheets, it's towels. been rented, fully stocked. If you guys just wanna come over this way, the kitchen is fully stocked. When we rent the properties out, we make sure that this is included and then if they need, if renters need to buy this after it ends, they can do that. The front gate, um, actually the security guards can sell this to people renting here so they don't have to go into town. And then the kitchen's fully stocked. It's got like cups and plates and just, you know, all of those Everything things you need. that you need. Yeah, this is available for long term or short term. Um, Sunset Shores, which is the name of this building, rents out minimum one month. Okay, so, so there's no Airbnb this. people no in the Airbnb. building, which is great. Yeah, right? which is amazing because you're not going to have like party goers on the weekends using the pool, like, you know, outside your balcony. Uh, so yeah, it's great. So minimum one month up to 12 months. Uh, Sunset Shores also has 24-7 security um, cameras and a maintenance staff. Um, his name is Luis. He works here five days a week, probably nine to five or something like that. And he takes care of like fixing things, changing light bulbs, things like that. Um, bathroom, this apartment is one bathroom. Um, apartment does have water heater, so no suicide shower, it's just a regular shower. <laughs> and then the middle room is the bedroom. This is a two, we have this listed as a two bedroom, one bathroom, but you guys will see that the second bedroom is kind of small, so that can be used as like an office or, and this has an AC unit in it as well, up, up the door, split AC unit. And then, down this way we have what would be the second bedroom, but I mean, I call it more of an office because it is rather small. Um, you could fit a bed in here, but I mean, you could fit a twin. Yeah, you could fit a twin. 
So we have closet, and there's also a closet here. It's, you know, it's a small apartment, but it's got everything that you need. So Perfect for one or two people, honestly. Perfect for a couple, or yeah, and like a couple and a small child, I think that would work. So I'm just wondering, yeah. if somebody didn't want to use this yes. as an office, and they wanted to use this yes. as a, another room for one of their small kids yeah. or whatnot, um, would the person be able to take this desk out Absolutely. of here and put in their own Absolutely, if bed. it was a long-term renter, we would definitely consider, long-term meaning at least six months, yeah. we okay. would definitely consider purchasing the bed and the mattress and taking this out. Um, if it was less than six months, uh, Maybe the not. owner, yeah, I mean, we, that's why we bought the sofa bed, but I mean, I, you know, he's willing, the owner is willing yeah, to, for sure. okay. to listen to folks, so. Yeah. Well, let's go check out this pool. Yes. <laughs> pool is awesome. The pool is awesome. Oh, it's got TV. Oh, and there's an AC unit as well in the living room. Which, honestly, this time of year, if you keep this open, it's really not even necessary. And if you keep the door open, there's a great front. Hola, hola. <laughs> so, you could also take a look up and see the other apartments in this building. Um, the Shores has two bedrooms, three bedrooms. <laughs> Children, not friendly included. neighbors. <laughs> nice social area. You can use the grill. You know, have barbecues out here. This is for everybody. That so anybody can use this. This is a jacuzzi. It does warm up. Um, I always forget the gas rule, but I think you have to pay for the gas tank to okay. use a jacuzzi. I'm not really sure how that works, but there's some. Some, some kind of kick there, but then the swimming pool is awesome because you can actually swim laps. Yeah, I was say. You can swim laps in the pool. And, and it's obviously right on the beach. Right on the beach, so that door, you can actually walk, walk over so you can see. So people who rent or live here um, are given access to the store. At night, the access is locked for safety reasons, but during the day, you can come in and out. So literally, you just walk out this door and you're on the beach. You're on the beach and you're about five, seven minute walk to alone, to the town of alone. You just walk a little bit further north and you'll be in town. So. And one of the things I love about this building, even though we haven't stayed in it, is uh, the little nature area, yeah, yeah. which is right next door. Right. So we come, or I come uh, walking along the beach and there's a little path there and there's all kinds of neat birds and everything if anyone's interested in that. Yeah, it's got honestly a great location. It's, I'd say maybe one of the best locations Hey guys, this rental is um, in a gated community. It has five bedrooms and four bathrooms. Four bathrooms. Four bathrooms. Yeah. So we're gonna go on in and have a little peek at what this rental will get you for this amount, but you don't get to find out till the end. Till the end. <laughs> and where are we? We're located. This house is located in what's called Bosques de Olón. Bosques de Olón is located on the east side, east side of the highway. So not on the beach side, on the other side. And it is a gated community, but there's no gate guard. There's a caretaker that lives on the property. He has his house as you walk, as you drive in, but he doesn't open or close a gate for anybody. But And there is a maintenance on the roads and the plants and such. Um, this house is one story, and out of the five bedrooms, two bedrooms are actually suites that have their own kitchenette and own private entrance. So come on in. This is a big house, guys. <laughs> Now, if you don't have a car, how long would it take to walk into alone from here? Yes, it would take probably about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Oh, so you're yeah. close. Yeah. A lot of the people that live or rent in Bosques de Olón, if they want to get to the beach, instead of walking all the way into town north and then walking in, they actually cut right through um, what's called Puerto Olón, which is um, a little neighborhood that's about a two-minute walk crossing the highway, and it's about like one block and a half to the beach. So okay. I just want to point yeah. out this little area That's that exactly. you're walking into. Like this yeah. is a great little front yeah. area. You yeah. can sit out here and have coffee, coffee in the morning. Coffee in the morning. Beautiful there's a little gardens. There's a grill as well, and just a nice space to entertain. And for sure. And you got to point out that uh, really cool surfboard so shower. Like, <laughs> Over in the that corner of the property cool. there. Yeah. There is also. While you're entertaining and you don't want guests walking in your house to use your bathroom, uh, there's perfect. a guest bathroom right there. Perfect, perfect. So, super, super practical. Nice design. And then let's walk in here through the main entrance. 
So, and again, Gabby, uh, this is fully furnished? Fully furnished. All it comes fully. with everything that you see. Um, kitchen is also fully stocked. Uh, so yeah, you got the cute little living room area. Um, there is no TV there. But I mean, you know, if you really want it to... If you want a TV, a TV, you can get a TV. You can get a TV. I yeah. love the stone wall. Yes. That's great. Super that. nice stone wall. The lighting here is also awesome. Um, this is the kitchen slash dining room. I would just have my dining room outside permanently and just like have my kitchen you know, with nothing to it, nothing there. Great. Yeah, nice kitchen space, and then they bought that to you know store some things and such. So there's actually no cabinets on the wall, which is kind of nice. I feel like that's a very in look lately, like no cabinets on the wall. Yeah. So, and then over here, excuse me, we have the first bedroom. This bedroom has its own bathroom. It has its own AC unit, and then cool, cool looking bunk bed. So it looks almost like a kids room. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, full bathroom. Now, is this a long term rental? Well? This could be available for short term or long term. Or long term. And In short term, you mean a month or two? Actually, she would be willing even night until she gets a long term rental. So, okay, so yeah. short, short to long, long. It could be minimum two nights up to a year. So, pretty flexible. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I think she would prefer a long term, but short term works fine as well. All right. And then back here, we have two bedrooms. So let's start with the master. The master has its own bathroom. Nice big shower. Oh, a nice stone wall in nice there. Nice stone wall inside the bathroom. Yeah, I love the stone. I yes, love me too. And then the bedroom is massive. Um, also, it's got an AC unit. And it's pretty bare furnishing. But you know what? It's perfect. You don't really need much more than that. Yeah. yeah. Nice dresser here would work. But for, for now, it's, it works. Yeah. And then there's actually... Um, the wall is probably closed, but I don't have to open it. But right here, you area. have just like a little area. So I mean, if you really wanted to, like, you know, buy like plastic table and chairs and I don't know some lights or something, like whoever's in the you know mom and dad or whoever's in the master bedroom can have like their own little area there to hang out at that night. And then over here to our left, there is a third bedroom in the main house. This bedroom also has an AC unit and it has its own bathroom, which is. You want to just come right in? It's right behind the store. Yeah. yeah. So, like I said, main house is a three bedroom and three, three and a half bathroom actually, because we have that half bathroom outside. And then, if you want to just follow me right this way, I love this plan. I love this plan. It's called Lengua de Suegra, which means mother in law's tongue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's Yikes. It's sharp like a mother-in-law's tongue. Uh, <laughs> so wait, this, okay. yeah, little, <laughs> that's what they call it here, I'm serious. Little wash area right here. Um, and then over there on that wall, you can see they have their water heater, so okay, yeah. no suicide showers. It's all hooked up to that yeah. water heater. And then over this way, right here, we have the two suites. Two now, suites. the reason why the owner built this was because her idea was like she would live in the main house with her family or they would come on weekends. But if they wanted to make some extra money, they can Airbnb these suites. This suite is locked. But this one is open and I'll show you. So like whoever would be renting this can like come in, you know, through here. Side. And yeah. Or it's perfect if you have guests, but you only want to see them part yeah. of the time. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So the suites are all, I mean, there's only two, but this and the other suite are similar. It's got the beds and then it obviously has its own bathroom, AC mm -hmm. unit. This one does have the TV. Yeah. And then just right behind you, Michael, is the little kitchenette. So yes, perfect. this is actually perfect. Oh. If you had either family visiting or you had like that one cousin that decided to stay for a long period of time, or you have like a teenage child like me who doesn't want to be next to mom and dad all the time. So yeah, this is like a great option, I think, for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Go to your room. Go to your room outside the house. <laughs> Yeah. And if your spouse has been bad, you can sell them over here. This is a nice, that as well. This is to hang hammocks. Oh, nice. So, I mean, a little yeah. bit close to the green fence, but I mean, hey, it works. But this one, this totally, one, yeah. this one, yeah, yeah this, this one, one works a little work. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, let's go out to the front and we can discuss uh, prices for this rental. Let me just lock this up. There we go. All right. Oh, and did you guys catch this uh, outdoor shower? Was we did, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we will stay in the great field. We will stay in the garden. It's a beautiful garden as well. So, uh, how
how much is this rental, Gabby? Okay. It, it, but just to do a little recap. Yeah. Five bedrooms. Five bedrooms. Four bathrooms. Four and a half bathrooms. Uh, two of those rooms are suites that have their own kitchenettes and, own and their own bathroom and own entrance. All right. How so much is this? This house is going for twelve hundred dollars a month. Now that price does not include um, electricity, water, or internet. Okay. Which we can calculate roughly. Maybe just over a hundred, maybe a hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty dollars additional for those utilities. Perfect. Yeah. This sounds too good to be true. <laughs> Give Gabby a call here. Yes. <laughs>
but like a lot of people bike on there. There's some houses towards the back, so people drive up to their homes on that road. So yeah. And then over here, let's just walk out to the backyard. So from the living area, you just slide this and walk out to your own private backyard. Um, obviously, you can't can't miss the hammock. And any home you have in Ecuador, you should have a hammock hanging somewhere. Yeah. So this is a nice little covered area. Um, yes. There's an outdoor shower right here, so you could like wash up the sand from the beach when you come from the beach. And then all of this is a property, so I mean, you can definitely you know do something here with this. And then back here, there's a little sitting area. Back here, I do not have access to you to the suite to show you guys. Yep. But this is included oh. um, in the rental, and this would be like the fourth bedroom. This suite has its own kitchenette and own bathroom as well. So fourth bedroom and fourth bathroom, uh, third bathroom would be in this suite right here. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay, so I should say yes. that with this house, it is for rent. Yes. Um, but it is also for sale. It is also so for sale. You. Um, are going to give us both prices here. I'm going to give you guys both okay, prices. Okay, so the rental first. Rental, um, they are asking for $900 a month. Um, that does not include utilities. So that would be plus water, which is very cheap, electricity, and internet. Um, and then for sale, they are asking for $190,000. I think one of the bonus factors with this yeah. place is, is the, the big trees in the back here, even though oh it's not God. part of it. but. Uh, have a look at that if you're into nature at all this is this is just beautiful yes. back here no one's ever going to build there because no. it's the river area exactly yeah. this river does grow um it's never come over the road thank goodness but it does grow a little bit and it actually you could see it just runs all the way and it just keeps going far back yeah. like i don't know how many kilometers back it goes but it does go pretty far back um, and it is really is it's special to like, you know, who doesn't love the ocean? Yeah. Who doesn't love the beach? Yeah. But having a little bit of river and jungle for me uh, is a huge bonus. Yeah, That's part of the sure. reasons why I think I love living in Olón. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the yard's big enough to put a pool in. In fact, yeah. that's what they're doing next door I over there. Yeah. They're putting in a pool. In a pool. <laughs> Definitely put a pool here for sure if you if you buy the place. So, and if you uh, rented it, you can make friends with the next door neighbor who has the pool. Who's putting in the pool. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> that's a really good idea. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks so much, Gabby. You're it's welcome. been a real pleasure You're to welcome. go around to all these houses and apartments with yeah. you. Thanks to you guys.